Wanna see something cool? Bam! Two tickets to the zombie dinner party premiere! Wanna go with me tonight? They've got quick wits and quicker mouths. Hey! I'm trying to score here! Can you read the Do Not Disturb sign? Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 smart-ass cartoon characters. You mocking me! Oh, that is rich. For this list, we're looking at cartoon characters who you don't want around when you get something wrong. Now set the trap, Frylock! Trap? What trap? Go get a trap! I didn't bring no trap. What trap no, you talking come about? Come out! Just let's go! Let's go! He's gonna kill us! Number 10, Rigby, regular show. I'll kill you! Drawn in the simplistic style of a children's cartoon, Rigby's appearance belies the sharp sense of humor hidden under his fur. Oh, did we not mention? He's a raccoon. Yeah! Despite caring deeply about his cohorts, Rigby regularly mocks their missteps in uproarious fashion. Hey, Pajama Sister, what are you doing? Watching TV all by yourself? Doesn't surprise me since you can't talk to chicks. Our favorite example of his wit may just be the inventive rap lyrics he spouts, dissing anyone and everyone around him. She won't get with you, she just won't get with you, not gonna get with you, never gonna get with you. Okay, we get it. I'm just keeping it real. He may be a good and loyal friend, but you have to take a lot of what he says with a grain of salt. You really put on quite a show! <laughs> Number 9. Brian Griffin, Family Guy I, I, I leave more personality and tightly coiled piles on the lawn. This member of the Griffin clan is probably the most cultured and intelligent of the bunch. But his high IQ means he can be a bit of a snob. Hey, my friend, who should I make this out to? Yeah, uh, make it out to Charmin, because that's how I'm going to use it. Among the most kind-hearted of the characters on this list, Brian's constant critiques of everything he encounters don't seem ill-willed, mostly. I'm here to strap you to a board, put a cloth in your mouth, and pour water over it to simulate the sensation of drowning. Yeah, traditional values! That is certainly not always the case, however, when it comes to his cohort, Stewie Griffin, the toddler with a penchant for nasty behavior. <coughs> Airport, please. Don't let Brian's apparent innocence fool you into dropping your defenses, though. He should not be trifled with if you're the sensitive type. How about a little less questions and a little more shut the hell up? Number eight, Master Shake, Aqua Teen Hunger Force. My name is Shake Sula, the Mike Rula, the old schooler. You want a trip? I'm bring it to you. Never one to worry about being politically correct. Shake's insights and slams are harsh, but hilarious. Actually, Harsh might be an understatement. He's more of a borderline sociopath. Now remember, you have no regard for human life, most especially women, because they have the organs that you wish that you had. So you want to make a suit from them. But I don't want to make a suit Listen from me, them. Listen to me, that's how it's done. The self-styled head of the Aqua Teens, this giant fast food item would probably not get along with anyone else on this list, but he obviously deserves a spot among them. One of those scheming types who's always trying to get away with something. Master Shake just has an attitude problem and is constantly angry. Meh, who are we kidding? We can relate. The words you're looking for are Sank and you. Put them together, they make a nice sound. Number seven, Bender Bending Rodriguez, Futurama. I don't need to drink, I can quit anytime I want. <laughs> Bender Bending Rodriguez may have been built to bend, but the first time he made fun of someone or something, he discovered his true calling. Hello, who's your hot dumb friend? Me? Sure, why not? Arguably the most debaucherous mainstream cartoon creation of all time. Nothing appears to dull the sense of humor and wit that sets Bender apart from those around him. Just calls for a drink. Egotistical and completely tactless, this alcoholic robot is rude, crude, and then rude some more. If any one of you thinks he shouldn't have made the cut, then you can, well, he'll tell you. Bite my shiny metal ass. It doesn't look so shiny to me. Shinier than yours, meatbag. Number six, Daria Morgendorfer, Beavis and Butthead, and Daria. I don't have low self-esteem. It's a mistake. I'll say. I have low esteem for everyone else. You know how some teenagers think they know everything and won't even engage with the world around them except to mock it? Frankly, Daria, this is not what I consider an ideal situation. That's funny. I'm in heaven. Clearly, the creators and writers behind this character's persona are more than aware of that phenomenon. Of course. It's some kind of cosmic payback for being too ironic. Okay, 
Is this gonna take long? Yeah, apparently things have not changed since the 90s. Monotone and elitist, Daria seems to truly believe that she is surrounded by morons, and any attempt to enlighten them would prove fruitless. So she instead interacts with others principally through mockery and one-liners. Your lack of interest in personal interaction makes you an ideal candidate for working with the dead. Daria, have you given any thought to your career plans? I guess I'll just wait around for people to kick the bucket. Sarcastic and snarky, she is the perfect foil for her classmates, Beavis and Butthead. 50,000 volts up the butt. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be cool. Number five, Roger the Alien, American Dad. Thanks for the help, coach. My pleasure. But if you expect to get any boob, I'm gonna need a buttload of Twinkies. Seth MacFarlane has a knack for creating sidekick characters that see the buffoonish behavior of others for what it is. And Roger is another example of that. Yeah, I kinda like how Stan is a giant douchebag. This super old alien may love and thank the human family that took him in, but that certainly does nothing to slow his instincts to disparage their every move. There! Now your shoes stink as bad as your ideas! <laughs> in fact, in one episode, it's revealed that if members of the race Roger belongs to don't release the bitchiness inside of them, they become sick. Or worse. Is being nice killing you? My people need to let our bitchiness out. Otherwise, it turns to bile and poisons us. Number four, Sterling Archer, Archer. <laughs> Hello. When a character is created with the intention of making him as dickish as possible, and is the main character in a cartoon comedy show, you can bet he'll end up on one or two lists like this. Rich, you promised me breakfast. You want breakfast, try the diner. You're obviously into Greek. Get it? Suave and debonair as any secret agent, Sterling Archer is also egotistical, sexist, racist, an alcoholic, and the biggest smartass you ever will meet. I'll drop these donuts. Then you can pretend they're marbles and you're a hungry, hungry. Constantly coming up with witticisms based on his surroundings and exhibiting a knowledge of all things pop culture, Archer rarely appears to be at a loss for words. Cyril, you know what's solid? This wall. Oh yeah, so's the floor, my fist. Um, oh, Cyril, the butt of my gun. Okay, I get it. Do you? Number three. Jeff Albertson, also known as Comic Book Guy, The Simpsons. My name is Jeff Albertson, but everyone calls me Comic Book Guy. Worst entry ever! The ultimate critic of the world he inhabits, Jeff Albertson has become so synonymous with his business and the culture it relies on that he is known almost exclusively as Comic Book Guy. Tell you what, I'll show you something very special if you promise to put your grubby little hand behind your back and keep in there. Behold! Wow. Though our first instinct when we thought of this list was to include Bart Simpson, the diminutive troublemaker, upon further reflection we realized that we'd be remiss to leave out this smartass. Ugh. To the gag I will give a D plus is for the workmanship on the hand. It, ooh. 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 That's not right. If this fat nerd were more of a principal character with more consistent appearances on the show, he might have actually been in contention for the top spot. I get my news from the internet, like every other normal person under 70. Farewell, dinosaur. Number two, Bugs Bunny, the Looney Tunes franchise. Get who? You. Yes, me. Unlike the others on this list, Bugs' smartass repertoire delves into physical comedy more often than not. <laughs> And usually it's to keep himself alive. Able to outwit, outsmart, and outlast any foe with his smarts. We really can't blame Bugs for doing whatever he can to survive. You know, sometimes me conscience kind of bothers me. But not this time. But you gotta love him for also making his enemies look like fools along the way. Never shy to belittle their deeds with his words as well. There is no question that Bugs will get the last, and most likely only, laugh. But I'll try. Before we reveal our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. Get out! Get out! Leave, leave, leave. Would you please welcome Mr. John Arbuckle and his cat Garfield. 
Next time I get first billing. You're gonna be a great teacher, Toph. Speaking of which, I want to show you something. Okay. Now we're even. I must speak to David Seville. It's a matter requiring urgent parental guidance. Oh, no, you don't, you stool pigeon. Number one, Eric Cartman, South Park. Dude, he's farting fire. If we were ever going to categorize a cartoon child as evil, it'd be Eric Cartman. Racist, arrogant, and just plain mean. Cartman's capable of anything. Actually, the residents of South Park are probably lucky when he's just being a smartass, as he can also be extremely devious and kind of psycho. Remember that time he fed his enemy's own parents to him? Oh my god! Oh my god! Yes! Yes! Oh, let me taste your tears, Scott. Mm, your tears are so yummy. Yeah, that makes all those times he talks back to adults and his friends look like nothing. Hey, I'm a cop, and you will respect my authority! With quick verbal jabs flowing from his mouth as readily as the food flows in, Cartman is the ultimate cartoon fat ass and the ultimate cartoon smart ass. Screw you guys, I'm going home. Go on and go home, you fat chicken! Yeah, go. Do you agree with our list? Who's your favorite cartoon smart ass? For more TV top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. So why don't you just waddle over there and get it? Yes, sir. Thank <laughs> you.